Good day everyone, this is John Naguib, Senior IT Consultant and Portfolio Architect and a proud member of the European SharePoint community. In this video of the series of how to do uh, videos over the SharePoint community, I'm going to show you how to integrate OWA with SharePoint. So the agenda for today, I'm going to define what is OWA and uh, what is the design for OWA and the existing features and I'll jump to the demo. So what is OWA? OWA stands for the Office Web Apps Server. It provides uh, updated versions of Word Web App, Excel Web App, PowerPoint Web App, OneNote Web App, where users can view edit Office documents in SharePoint libraries by using supported browsers on their computers and no need to have their uh, uh, Office uh, client installed in their machines. They can do that too through the Windows phones, iPhones, iPads, Windows 8 tablets, and Android devices. So let's take a look into the OWE design. This is the current OWE design for the uh, latest version. We are having in the middle Office Web App Server. So this can be a single uh, uh, server or it can be multiple server load balanced and it acts as a one farm and other technologies connecting to it to consume it. So we see in here each box of those uh, in blue is uh, several uh, SharePoint farms and each of those farms is, is bind to this web app uh, OWA's uh, farm it can consume the functionality and make use of it in, inside SharePoint same thing for link and for exchange so what are the features that we're having in OWA so part of those features first one is change tracking where we can track the changes that's happening in the document this used to be on the uh, client versions only but it's now supported over the OWA we can add comments over the OWA we can have a co-authoring where several uh, uh, users or employees are at the same time editing at the same document. Quick preview, so whenever you hover over your SharePoint site and over a certain document, you will get a quick preview for the document. And you can share a link directly uh, through the OWA for this specific document. So let's jump into the demo, let me go to my OWA machine. In this architecture, uh, I'm, I'll be showing you in here, we are having two machines. One which is OWA and the other is SharePoint. So in OWA, we need to do s uh, some steps at the beginning and then we can go to the SharePoint and do another step. So what, what needs to be done to configure OWA? The first step, let me open in here, I'm having a Windows for shell command and let me copy some commands in here. I have written the steps in the uh, notepad. First thing is set the execution pulse to unrestricted. And next thing, let me import the uh, module server manager so I can install some Windows features. So now I am supposed to run this uh, B command. It contains several features that uh, Windows needs to have uh, to be able to run the uh, OWE. It's a prerequisite. Let me copy and paste this command. Actually, it will start taking time, and it will either, if you're having already this uh, Windows feature installed, it will tell you that there is no change needed. If you, if these features are not installed, so it will uh, continue with installing them, and then restart will be needed. So once it's done, you are having the prerequisites installed for the Office, for the OWA. And what is the next step then? The next step that you need to install OWA itself. I have already done that for you, what you need to, to download it from Microsoft sites and just run it as an administrator and install it. It's a simple uh, installation file, setup file. Then once it's done, you need to import the module for Office Web Apps. So either you can call it import hyphen a module hyphen name Office Web Apps directly or if your PowerShell is, is not configured to, to, for the, to go for this uh, destination, you can set in here the importing module from the full pass to the modules like this one so let me copy this command and go to the powershell So I imported this module and next thing you need to create a new Office Web App Forms. So if I create, try to create that in, in here, it, 
this command will tell me are you going to override the existing settings because I have already run this command before it's called new office web apps form and providing it it's the URL and URL is the owa.gen.com where owa is the name of the server and gen.com is the domain and then I'm allowing HTTP and allowing editing so I'm not going to override this existing settings I'm just press cancel but in your case you will, the, the, this command will create the OWE form for you so let's try another command it's called get office web apps form if I run that it will start giving you information about the existing OWE form so OWE.gen.com is uh, internal URL and it will provide you a lot, a lot of uh, parameters and information so if you're running this the uh, creation uh, command which is called new office web apps form for the first time the result will look like this once it's done so we are having now what we have done that we've installed the, some windows features it's the prerequisites then we installed OWE and then we have run a certain command let me go and show you this link which is called HTTP OWE hosting uh, slash discovery this shows the discovery data for the OWE farm so this means that our farm is ready now and the next step that we need to go to our uh, SharePoint machine to do the connections between the OWE and SharePoint opening a uh, SharePoint management shell running it as an administrator and let me do let's see the PowerShell command in here and cleaning all the data in the uh, shell console and let me paste the command it calls new spowpi binding and providing it the server name which is uh, points to the owa server and let me press that okay it finished and what it has done that it binded the sharepoint farm to the owa farm and provides several information in here about the every type of, of the documents the word the excel and one note and etc so what we need now to go uh, to test it we need to go to the sharepoint uh, document library and make sure to log in with your uh, user don't try to connect using form account or system account because if you try to log in with system account or form account you will receive error whenever you are trying to access documents you need to access it with, with a normal user let me do a refresh to this page and let me press on the document okay let me do another refresh Press on the documents. Well, it started opening the World Web app. Here we go. I'm having a few words written in here. It's testing OWE. So with a few steps, we have done in installing and uh, binding the SharePoint farm with the OWE. We got the functionality. And if I press on the three uh, dots in here besides document name, you will get a quick review of the document. And here you can share this link with anyone. Hope you like the video. Thanks. And please follow the European SharePoint community for more how to do video series. Thank you very much.